Eastside girls 4 by 100 relay here at the state track meet today. Let's start off with Courtney Payson who opened things up today. Court, how did things feel in that first leg of the race today? Oh, it felt really cool, like running at yeah, state. It was like really like scary and I was nervous, but it felt good. When do you think the nerves settled down? When I was done. <laughs> really? But yeah, after I was done, I was just like, that's over. That's over. Do you think they helped you here today? Um, yeah, definitely. Just like get me like focused and it helped me focus a little more. So. What was your goal coming into today? First trip down here, right? Uh, yeah. Um, just get like a really good time. Like I'm hoping to get like a 13 something or 13 low. So. Did you feel good about how you ran? Did you feel like you were strong all the way through? Um, yeah, I slowed down like at the end of the curve, but I like picked it back up, I think. Okay. Did you get out of the blocks well? Yeah, I think so. I had them set like the way I wanted them to be, so. So what have you soaked in so far today? Um, a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of people and it's like, I don't know, it just like helped me get focused a little more with all the people, I guess, because I know I had to do well. And Favorite part of being down here yet? Uh, just like watching all the fast people and seeing everybody else run. Well, Courtney, appreciate you joining us. Great job here today. Thank you. Let's move on now to Kendall Herrig around the second leg here today. And Kendall, how did this feel for you? Uh, it was pretty exciting. Kind of nerve-wracking, but mostly exciting. <laughs> the first trip down, first year out for track uh, yeah. here in high school. So uh, is this all you expected it to be before the season started? I didn't think it was going to feel as scary, but... Yeah, it's definitely what everybody says it is. <laughs> Did you lean on Jay Lynn at all? A little, a little experience being down here? Yeah, I had to a little bit ask a lot of questions, make sure she let me know everything I needed to know. What did she tell you? Well, she told me a lot about just you know, thinking about your race before you go, focusing for your races, getting everywhere you need to be on time. So how did you feel while you were running? Pretty comfortable? Yeah, it was, it was pretty comfortable, but I don't know. How did you feel like you ran? Did, did you feel strong? I don't know, it just like it goes so fast that I just don't really know how I did. <laughs> I did my time, I guess. How was your handoff with Courtney? Um <laughs> it was a little bit off, I will say, <laughs> but just glad we got an exchange on too much. Now you two were practicing handoffs beforehand. Had you been having any I think it just went from like practicing to nerves and then again like, yeah, also. Yeah. Okay. How would the handoff with Kennedy? Uh, that one felt really good. Did it? Okay. So what are you thinking here after you ran? What are you looking forward to now? Um, okay. I tell you what, best of luck coming up in those, and thanks for joining us. Let's move on now to Kennedy Beacon, who ran the third leg today. Kennedy, how did it feel for you today? A little nerve-wracking. It was my first relay this year. felt pretty good. How did it go? I mean, talk about how it was running and, and the nerves and, and how that affected you. Um, I think it made me run faster. I feel like the more nervous I get, the better I do. Is that something you think about, you know, before meets and stuff, before yeah. events? Yeah, sort of. Just that nervous energy? Yeah. Okay. After the handoff, did you feel strong right away, or how long did it take before you felt like you got up to full speed? Um, not too long. I just sort of did, like, our accelerators. Like, we just gradually go to our top speed. I felt pretty good. Did you feel strong all the way through the race today? Uh, yeah, there are some really fast girls, but I feel like I got a pretty good time. I don't know. Is it, is it fun running against girls that are fast like that? Do you think that helps to bring out the best in you? Yes, it pushes me a lot. What are you looking forward to taking away from today for future? Um, probably the experience of running with like my team. Last year I didn't shut a hurdle and this is just a new team that run with. That was fun. Well, I tell you what, great job out here today, and thanks for joining us. Thanks. Let's move over now to Jaylen Peters, who ran the anchor leg here today. And Jaylen, how did it feel out here today? Um, it was a little, was nerve-wracking. Not as bad as my opens. I don't get too nervous for these, you know. I'm used to it a little bit, but it got pretty nerve-wracking when we took, like, probably five, ten minutes to start the race. Like, we were just waiting, and that's when my adrenaline was really rushing. Do you think that weight made you more nervous? Yeah, I think so. Just getting on that track. Usually I'm just ready to get on the track and run right then, but we waited five minutes at least on that track. Do you know why? No, I'm not even really sure. Well, they like switched events. It was like the boys D-Med thing and then it was us, but I'm not really sure what the weight was. I don't know if we were waiting for another team or what it was, but yeah, it was a little bit scary. Did you feel like you ran strong today though? Yeah, I felt, I had a pretty good hand off with Kennedy and you know, there's a lot of fast girls there, but I like the competition. It helps me out a lot, I think, so. How is it running with three girls that had never been down here before? A, I, I get a little bit scared of the handouts. We're just not used to them, but I really like the girls. I like running with them, so it's fun. You got more races coming up. Go get prepared for them, yeah, and best yeah. of luck. Thank you. You bet.